All right, we're here across the train station in Port Chester at the new development, Run and Hive Brewing Company. It's getting developed here. It's gonna be an insane space, and we're gonna take a little tour. Tim, of Run and Hide owner, visionary, brew master, is here with us. Kyle and Tara, uh, you know, hospitality specialist, <laughs> restaurants, and then me, I like to eat. And, uh, all right, so you wanna jump into it? Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's get rock. it. First off, the space, right? So it's yep. this level, and then it's the patio above? Yeah, we have this level down here, which will seat about 95, and then an upstairs deck patio that seats about 75, a little bar, coffee shop up there. Love it. This whole space is a little shy of 4,000 square feet. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Um, and what was here before? Here before, very cool. It was um, a place called Little Dick's for years. But that was Little, the spot. Little, Little Dick's, Dick's was, believe it or not, Janis Joplin wrote the Mercedes song in Little Dick's. Really? Um, drinking whiskey before sound check at the cap, and she performed it that night for the first time acoustically. Wow. That's so sick. we're definitely gonna Good pay homage here. to her. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna do a, I got a really nice blonde ale. We're gonna brew it for Is her. Is that the one I tried? No, you the, haven't. Oh, it's a new one. No, you haven't. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is basically gonna be the brewery from this whole stretch here. You, um, this is gonna be all um, fermentation tanks and then all the bright tanks over here. So if you're getting off the train or riding by, you're gonna have a vision, you're gonna have sight of the, the uh, yeah. tanks from the, yeah. from the street. Yeah, level. so this wall here, this will be all glass and where you guys are would be the bar. Got it. Mm. So we'll, uh, you know, you'll be sitting drinking while you're seeing us make beer back there, which Very is, cool. which is kind of cool. What are you talk, uh, thinking about in terms of food? You know, for people who followed me the past 10 years, we're gonna be doing some exciting stuff I've done in the past. Don't wanna talk about it yet, but mm -hmm. um, I, I, won't, I won't let anybody down, you know, for what we used to do here in town. Um, so this is like back of the house right here? No, that's back of the house. That's all kitchen back there. I got you. Basically from here to the front is all beer making. And did this start as home brewing originally? Yeah, yeah, yeah I've been home brewing since 1985. Wow. I went to, a buddy of mine went to Belgium, came back with a Saison and I drank it and Rocked it your was world. beautiful. And there were no Saisons in America at that time. Yeah. So I started home brewing so I could drink Saisons. Oh, there you go. Out of necessity, right? Make exactly. Your own ideas come. What would yep. you say is your like calling card? What makes what makes your beer distinct? We do uh, we, our Italian pills. They're called Stick with Grandma. Is like our number one seller. We crush it. Yeah, that's what um, I was drinking. Yeah, yeah. it's got. A, I got a picture yeah. of my grandmother on the can. That's yeah. awesome. Uh, I was in a punk band back in the day, and we wrote a song called Stick with Grandma. So I just there carried it is. over. Awesome. We're gonna make a house lager here. It's uh, it's gonna be a five dollar pint, twenty four okay. seven, seven days a week. It'll be a five dollar, five percent house lager made with rice and corn. Um, it's gonna be excellent, yeah. All right, so this is the second floor. This is our outside patio. Um, so we're thinking a little bar here to be able to accommodate this and this. This is, uh, this is nice. This is, you get the whole view, you're up here, you know. There's nothing like this. There's I know they're like starting this. to do stuff in uh, like New Rochelle, they have some rooftops, but. New Rochelle's got some market. stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Is this gonna this is gonna be family friendly, right? Like pets, all that. Hundred percent. Through my lens, I live on the west side of Greenwich, and there's very few places that are family friendly. You can bring everyone. There's space. People think they have to do something super high end, or even in Greenwich. But yeah. If you can bring the families, that's the that's the key to success, yeah. Yeah. right? Like Absolutely. parents can have a dream, the kids can kind of do their thing. I'm very excited. You're gonna yeah, be excited. How <laughs> how soon is this gonna get done? Let's get this going. I think yeah. we'll be in here drinking beer this time next year. So I say between Thanksgiving and Christmas of 2024. Okay. Yeah. All right. On behalf of us, we're very excited. Congratulations. Yeah, I know we're congrats. in the beginning here, but we're gonna look forward to hopefully checking in on the progress when things start to go in. I can't promise that I can move these tanks or help and be punctual, <laughs> but we'll be here to facilitate. Yeah. Right? Beer test, stuff beer like that. Beer test, whatever yeah. you need from us. Chris is a big <laughs> beer guy behind the camera, right, Chris? He's been dying for us to do. We haven't done a brewery yet. Thank you for the tour. We Thank appreciate you, you. Best of luck. Yeah, man. Um, if you, you want to check out a little prequel, you're over on, what's your address over I'm here? I'm at uh, 223 and a half Westchester Avenue. Don't so forget the half. We're two blocks up the hill from the cap. Uh, we're making fresh mutts, doing 24 month of prosciutto, unneeded bread. We got a full bar, our beer, and come it's a check little us appetizer, out. right? For this, yep, this exactly. full build out. Thank Tim, you. Thank man. you so much. Thank yeah. you so yeah, much. Man, thanks thank you. Thank you.